What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are taking a look at sort of a, a randomized video, man. We're, 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 going, we're going crazy today, man. I am so excited because, actually, we're going to fulfill some fix-ups that I've been wanting to do for such a long time that it's insanity. But i got to give a huge shout-out to first PWR Lucha for these clothes that we're going to be using today for this WWE action figure closet episode. And I don't even know if this is going to be an ongoing thing. You know, I'm just... This, this is just what we got today. And just ruin everything, why don't you? But I also want to give a huge shout-out to my man, Giovanni for making this video possible because he hooked us up with these clothes that are from PWR Lucha. So without those two guys, this video is not possible. And I did want to shout them out, of course, because those are my boys. In this video, man, we're going to be fixing up these figures and dressing them up in their clothing that we have here. Dubbed the name WWE Action Figure Closet. But these figures today are figures that I've been wanting to do for so long, right? This baseball jersey, I, for a long time, man, I have, I, ever since I started collecting Mattel WWE figures, I have been wanting to make the baseball jersey, the Chain Gang Soldier baseball jersey fix up forever. And every cloth goods maker I went to, the football jersey as well and the basketball jersey usually but I did find like a Chinese seller one time that made this but those articles of clothing no custom cloth makers or shirt makers or WWE action figure shirt makers could ever do it and if they ever did it it was never to the level of my satisfactory I'm kind of a, a ridiculous nut I'm kind of an idiot and I, I like I'm very picky about you know my collection and how I want stuff to look and so they could never do it but today we can finally do these things that I've been wanting to do man and it's going to be epic so let's go ahead and walk through what we're going to be doing here man right now so our first fix up is going to be the New Year's Revolution 2006 John Cena we have the football jersey over here that we're going to be using and we also are going to be putting this chain gang hat on there with the white stripes we're going to be making the basketball jersey fix up we have this custom Finn Balor that pretty much looks like Judgment Day I mean it's not perfect by any stretch and by the time you guys are seeing this video we probably already know if we're getting an elite Judgment Day at the time of recording this I'm in California at San Diego Comic Con and so I'll be posting content and videos there daily and stuff like that hopefully so you guys will get in on that as well but we'll see if we're getting an update did Finn Balor and all those things, but today we're going to be putting this shirt on there from his Judgment Day look. And I know he's not in pants, all right? We can fix that at a later day, but I do want to put the shirt on there or the jacket thing. I also looked up how much this jacket was because I was like, dude, that's pretty badass, right? It's got zebra stripes on it. It's a little track jacket. I'm like, yeah, I might wear this, you know, just a little cool jacket to wear. This jacket's like $300. And I said, I'm not wearing that damn jacket, Brad. So yeah, there was that. We have my custom elite figure. I'm going to put my basketball jersey on there until my new fix-up jersey comes from PWR Lucha. He's sending accurate colors. This one got a little bit too dark. And then we also have a Roman Reigns shirt right here that we're going to be putting on our Roman Reigns figure back there, which should be pretty sweet. We have the three WWE Spinner Championships to put with our Cena fix-ups. And then finally, we're going to captivate it with our John Cena baseball jersey, man. It's going to be excellent. I can't wait to dive into this man so let's shut the hell up get into what we're going to get into and showcase these things also these shoes right here i'm going to be putting uh these white shoes on the chain gang baseball jersey figure because uh he wore like white and black reeboks and i don't want to use the ultimate edition i want to use the deluxe aggression shoes and these used to be brown and i acetoned them so now they have like a little bit of standing on there. I'm going to paint them up anyway at a later date. Not today, obviously, but, you know, we'll get there. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into what we're going to do today. And I guess I'm just going to go work, like work left to right with what's on the table, I guess. And we will uh, just kind of finagle it. So I guess we could start off here. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, I don't know why I angled the camera down just then. But one thing that's really cool about the John Cena figure right here is everything is accurate. Like even the shoes. These are the same shoes he wore at New Year's Revolution. And so I, I think that this is going to be so damn beautiful. So I really don't know the best way to put this on. And I don't know if I'll leave the screaming head sculpt on there. But uh, let's go ahead and pop this off. He didn't have any chains or anything like that, man. When I tell you I've been trying to get somebody to make this jersey forever, I mean forever, man. That like People just couldn't do it. And I understand because I would have made it myself if it was able to. But I could never find somebody that could get the graphics right and the scaling and actually have these like modern stripes going down it. So PWR Lucha, man, you need to order from him. I need to get a promo code over there, man. Just make... Maybe do it. just spam him down below, man. Like this video if you want to see PWR Lucha 
and MDT collab for a WWE action figure closet series where he sends cloth goods and we make fix-ups based on the cloth goods. That that needs to be a thing, but let's go ahead and see if we can get this jersey on here. Uh, you know, it's it's not easy to do these things, but anything worth doing is usually not easy, is it, Bradley? So we're going to shove that on there, and then we're going to stretch it over the top here. And, I mean, these shirts go on like real shirts, you know what I mean? I mean, this is no different than you going in your own closet and trying to put a damn shirt on, man. It doesn't, sometimes you can't get shirts on as easy, and especially when it's a figure, and, you know, like, figures don't contort like an actual human body does, so, you know, you gotta just finagle and finagle and finagle until you get it in there. Dude, look how happy this makes me. Oh my god, this is freaking beautiful, dude. Holy shnike. I'm gonna put the smiling head sculpt on here, I guess. I'll probably do a photo shoot with the, with the screaming expression, but put that sculpt on here. I mean, these are getting posted to Instagram. Holy sh... This is freaking gorgeous, man. Oh, my Lord. Let's go ahead and put the hat on here as well. Dude, look at that right there. That is just happiness ever. All right, moving on to the next one. Dude, that is... Uh, I'm literally giddy right now. And watch, like... I don't know at the time of recording this. Watch it. San Diego Comic Con, they give us to us. But I, I don't know. It won't be as accurate as this is, probably. But next up, we have the basketball jersey. What's cool is this has the deluxe aggression shoes on there as well. So that'll be really sweet. And, uh, yeah, he, he was wearing the Reebok pumps similar to this, so... This will get the job done, too. And he doesn't really... He didn't always wear the hat here. This is an Elite 100 Cena, which I really want to see. You guys have already seen my wish list for Comic-Con. I guess you've already seen probably what, if anything, came true of my wish list. But, dude, that fits fantastic. Holy shish, PWR Lucha, man. Oh, my God in heaven. Look how nice that looks, man. Oh, oh my God. He didn't always wear the hat, you know. And this isn't even really the hat. The hat that he wore with this jersey sometimes wasn't always this one. But, oh my god, dude, this may be, like, this might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh my, th dude, this, um, this is John Cena for me. Dude, look at this, we're about to complete the trifecta. When I see this baseball jersey fix up, I'm gonna have to go vomit into the floor, man. Oh god, oh my lord. Let's move it on, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this on. Got the big old zebra jacket, I think it's called, what is it called, Palm Angels? Yeah, Palm Angels $300 jacket. Jesus, Finn. That's what happens when you're a millionaire. You buy $300 zebra jackets. If I was ever a millionaire, that'd be my first purchase. Dude, these, these go on so easy, too. I know, like, I just talked about how it was like, you gotta finagle it, but dude, for the most part, look at that. That went on pretty damn easy. Material is so stretchy and nice. This would be really cool to see from Mattel. Another thing I just thought about is, how cool would it be if you were a... What if you were, like, a clothing company, and then... I know, like, gear makers are impressed, or, you know, they're, they're probably pretty happy when the toy companies make their gear into a toy, but what about them, what if you're a shirt company or something, and a wrestler wears something, and then they make your shirt into a figure? How cool would that be? No different, really. All right, WWE title goes there. Doesn't really matter which one. That's the Elite 100 title. But now we're going to take this, and we're going to be putting on my basketball jersey here. I thought about doing just a, a, a surgery video, but this isn't really surgery, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a little bit of surgery, but I wanted to make a full-fledged video on just the cloth goods itself. I'm telling you, dude, WWE action figure closet needs to be its own thing. And the new jersey that we're getting from PWR Lucha will fit better than this. Not fit better than this. It'll look better. The, the pinks will be more accurate and, you know, all those different things. But there is that. Oh, dude, look at what we're doing here. All right, this one, I think I'm going to end with the baseball jersey because i got to switch the shoes, which is a whole thing. But put that over there. And then the Roman Reigns figure with the new Undisputed Championship. New, quote quote unquote, you know what I mean. I literally couldn't find that shirt just then. It like blended in with the table. Went ahead and popped the head off. I feel like that makes it easier. Especially like with guys with long hair and shish like that. Pulling that over the head there. Put that in there. Oh yeah, that fits nice and snug. Look at that. The tribal chief's arms right there. Dude, that looks so damn nice. Look at that right there. That's hella nice. Look at that right there. That's hella nice on the big arms right there, man. All right, man. Moment of truth here. One thing we do have to do is uh, we need to... I mean, we got to switch the shoes, but what I'm talking about is we got to switch the armbands. So what he used to do when he rocked the baseball jersey is when he would uh, he would rock that bicep band like down on his forearm is usually what he would do. So like this one right here, 
Let's see if I can get that done here. Can't lose these bands, man. That's like gold. So he would put that on his armband there, and then we got to get... Oh, let's see. We got to put this back on here. And come on this side, and we got to put this band back on. That in there, and then... Uh, I guess I can wait on the jersey there, but I got to switch these shoes real quick. So I'm going to switch the shoes, and then I'll come back, and I'll put the jersey on. All right, man, here we go. We got the Cena now. We got to put the baseball jersey on here, and then we will need to put his accessories on there and put the armband on there and all that. But right here... We we go putting that through oh my jesus man look at that what a dream i've been waiting for this moment for a long long time man and i actually helped him design this like i sent him over some graphics and stuff like that so that it would be accurate to the actual jersey and all those different things man and holy shnikes dude oh my god look at that fits pretty much perfectly pretty much perfectly i don't really know how you're gonna really beat that right there baggy sleeves dude look at that right there dude look at this right here and then all we gotta do is put on the hat and then add the armband right here that he would wear on like his forearm he would basically wear it like that right there it's not tight tight enough but he usually like wear it right there dude look at that right there i'm just basking in it i mean my god get these tables out of here this is the money right here for me. The trifecta. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I'm just joshing, but look at this. Mm. Any major Cena fans or Cena collectors out there, just, you know what's up. Anyways, man, I'm gonna bask in this a little bit longer, but I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know a little bit of something different here, but I figured you guys would enjoy it. We have football, basketball, baseball. Reminds me of Johnny Football, man. But these are the looks that I want from Mattel, man. This is the level of detail I want my Cena's, man. This is money right here. This is absolute money. But that is going to wrap up my video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of Action Figure Closet and what the figures look like on here, man. We got Finn and stuff back here as well. But uh, the main the main portion was the scene. It's, it, that's what it was about. That's what it's always been about. But a huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members yourselves, click the link in the description below. But I appreciate every single one of those guys. They are the GOATs. That is going to wrap this video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys. I'm getting out of here, rolling out. See you like see you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be